Reports came out over the weekend in Italy that Dan Friedkin, the American owner of Roma, is set to complete a 650 million euro takeover of Everton Football Club to acquire a 94.1% stake of Farad Mashiri's shares. Listen, things have moved on. There's been lots of people who have looked to being in the driving seat. This did come out over the weekend. Uh, the strongest links coming from Italy, but it does seem to have been backed up by people like Paul Joyce, who expected the deal to be done by tomorrow. And that has uh, carried on today. A lot of other reports that it'll be done tomorrow. What it means is Farad Mishir will sign an exclusivity deal with the Freaking Group. And then... It'll take whatever it takes to uh, for the Premier League to have a look at it. Hopefully not eight months like uh, the Triple Seven story was. But listen, if he gets it, he's you know loads of experience in business already running a football club in Roma, who are a big football club, and we'll see where we go. It's still you have to take all of these things with a pinch of salt at the moment until you're into the next phase of it, and then even then until the Premier League have, have rubber-stamped it and we say that he's the owner, then you can start to uh, to look past that. But right now, it looks like the freaking group may well complete um, or certainly satisfy Farad Mashiri's conditions, I guess you'd call them, right now. So it's one to watch, but it does look as though he is going to be getting Everton Football Club. Well, that is if you believe all the results, uh, all the results, all the reports. Uh, Jordan Pickford played 90 minutes for England last night in their first Euro 2024 group stage game against Serbia. Pickford kept a clean sheet as England won 1-0 with a goal from Jude Bellingham. In keeping that clean sheet for England, Jordan Pickford equaled Peter Shilton's 10 clean sheets at Major tournament so well done Jordan uh, Everton apparently have a concrete interest in Brazilian midfielder Arthur Mello and as most he was most likely to leave Juve this summer he spent last season on loan of Fiorentina and scored twice in 33 games he did come to Liverpool on loan and it wasn't very it wasn't very good I am massively understating that um, lots of Liverpool fans calling it the worst loan in their history but Hey ho, we'll have to wait and see. It's a surprising one. This it's not one that I see, and I. It's not one that I would have had on the list of players to go and get. We'll have to wait and see if there's anything in it. Has been linked a few times. Everton initially said no to Mello before Liverpool went and took him, so it is a surprising one if it, if he does come to Everton. Uh, this summer. And finally, Everton Football Club today has uh, confirmed it's signed a multi-year agreement that will see HPE, Aruba Networking, leading provider for enterprise network infrastructure, becoming an official supplier of the Everton Stadium Wi-Fi. It provides a uh, secure and intelligent networking infrastructure solution. The system currently being installed at Everton's new stadium on the waterfront will include uh, switches, access points, Wi-Fi and wired network management. Basically, it means there's a lot more stuff there that I'm not going to read out, but it basically means you'll be able to get um, good Wi-Fi in the new stadium, be able to check the scores, you'll be able to WhatsApp people and all of that. They've already they've done all of this at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. They've put all the infrastructure in at Barcelona's new stadium as well. They've done a uh, stadium in Atalanta where the Atalanta Falcons, uh, is the Falcons play yet? Yeah. And where Atlanta United play. And they've done a couple of other stadiums as well in the US. They are the, the leading um, the leading company for doing this kind of thing now and Everton have signed this multi-year arrangement with them. So there you go. And we received the awfully sad news over the weekend that former Everton striker Kevin Campbell passed away over the weekend, aged just 54. Uh, he was a, he was certainly uh, someone who we were we were friends with over the years from doing this. He appeared on our shows many times and it was a, a real sad day and it's... You know, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. For more on this, um, there's a couple of shows that we've done. If you want to, you know, hear more of our thoughts on Kevin Campbell um, and just how highly uh, we regarded his friendship. And uh, an awfully sad day for uh, not only Evertonians, but Arsenal fans and every other fans of every other club that he played for as well. He was a truly lovely fella and uh, he will be missed greatly. 
That is it for the Everton News Daily. See you later.